Hey everyone, hope all of you are doing great and welcome back to complete full stack NFT marketplace project video. In the last video, we had built our hero section. So this is the hero section we had built. In this video, we're going to build the services section of our NFT marketplace. So if you haven't watched the previous video, make sure you watch that. I'll link the video in the i button in the description so you can follow. Okay, so let's start working on our services section. So before we start, let me give you an overview that what we have done in the last video. So this is our section. This is discovery section. We have this beautiful discover menu, health center menu. We have this notification. We have this user profile info. We have this hero sections button and this and this is the photo section we had work. Okay, it's looking stunning. And this is what we had built in the last video. Okay. And this video we're going to build this amazing service section okay so simply come up to the code editor and i have already initialized the project and let's go to the component and first thing we have to do is to create a folder inside the component and we call it service in that we have to create two files so we'll call it service.gsx and service module.css okay now let's come here in our services and type RAFCE. Okay, now let's do internal import. We have to import the CSS file, import style, and that's coming from the same directory. Okay, now we are done with that setup and let's come to this component index and we have to import this file here. Let's close this one and call it import service and that's coming from the service slash service okay and now we have to export it here okay save it come back to the index.pages and here we have to import it and we're going to call the component so i'll go a little fast because we have to do the same thing okay so here in this way we can easily able to access the component once we save and let's start the application so type npm run dev click on this 3000 just wait and here you can see we are getting come off couple of notification don't need to worry about it simply click on this mm, click on 3000 and close this one and here you can see everything's working fine and here we have the services section so we can easily able to display the component here okay rest is working fine let's come to the mobile device and if i scroll down here we have this service component let's bring this one and let's start working on our service component so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of internal external import and first thing is going to be image and that's come here let's do the image we have inside the image folder let's remove this and take this instant return and we have to take a div it will have a class style dot service inside that we'll have another div it will have a class style dot service dash box and that will have another div it will have a class called style dot service box item and that will have the image source image dot and in that in that images we have this service images so altogether we have four images service one service two service three and service four okay let's take the alt tag we'll call let's call it a uh, filter and discover you can give whatever name you want let's take a width is going to be 100 and height is going to be 100 as well save it come down we have to take a paragraph and let's take a class style dot and let's call it service box item step okay so here we have to type the text so let's call it take a span inside span we have this step one and now let's come out that and let's take a h3 tag and we'll call it filter and discover it's gonna be the title and now we have to take the filter paragraph and we have to copy simply come here and copy the text and that's what we're going to display here simply paste here okay so that's the first icon service section we have okay now let's come down simply close this one and copy this entire item and replicate this couple of time and now we have to do the changes so let's simply close this one 
and close this one close this and this is come here here we have that one okay now we have to change the image so two and simply we have to change the images so this is image number two let's close this one and come to the third one and let's make it to three and you can change the text so so let's close this one and simply copy this and we have to paste here not there okay close this one and come to the fourth one and here we have to change the images so let's simply change this one and let's call it start trading okay that's look pretty good I think we are done with this okay if we find we are making any mistake we definitely come back here so that's what I have you can see we are displaying the images so first image is second image third image and this is the fourth image we have and we are displaying the text as well okay let's make it side by side so we can start styling it so that's the only thing we have to do here in the services section let's have a final look so we're going to target the service which is going to be let's say 80 percent margin 3 ram auto margin block is going to be 8 ram so this is look good we have to add the media query and max width is going to be let's say 35 em services width is going to be 90 percent let's come down service box grid template for 1fr display grid and now it will take the place gap is going to be 3 ram align item center let's come down inside the media query replicate this one and let's make it to let's say 50 and in that we'll say box is going to be let's say grid template column repeat to 1fr and gap is going to be 1 ram so this looks really great so it's working fine we, it's already 100% responsive on a mobile device let's test it on other screen it's working fine you can see looking beautiful so 100% responsive in all the devices in all the breakpoints so let's come here and let's target the service item step is going to be let's say margin top is going to be 3 ram margin bottom is going to be 2 ram let's come down target the span and padding is going to be 0.5 ram and 1.5 ram border radius is going to be 5 ram background color is going to be VAT dash dash and our icon color save it color is going to be let's say shadow dark color save it and you can see it's look beautiful you can even optimize this service section as well instead of copy and pasting the same code over and over again in our HTML JSX part you can simply take a data as a array and just loop over it and display that it that would be also working okay but I will go in this approach because ultimately it's a very small component and this component will not change it will be there forever okay so that's why I will take this approach so it's looking fine we have our CSS everything is looking great media query is also fine let's close this one and let's have a final test so this is how it will look on our desktop everything is looking great we have the text so now our application is taking style now we'll go to the get up because I have to push the code and click on this new type NFT marketplace service hit enter copy this one come back to the code and first thing we have to delete this get folder and we we have to initialize one more time so everything is looking good open the terminal close the application and type get in it get add dot this will add all the files now let's come back to the simply copy this and till here and paste here hit enter copy paste hit enter 
copy this one enter and we have to push this just wait the uploading process is started so it's completed now let's come back reload the browser and here you will find we have uploaded go to the component section here we have the service inside the service we have this two file this as you can see we have all this code so everything is working fine okay so that's looking great let's do one more check navigation is working fine this is hero section this is the services section and this is the footer component now let's come back to the code editor and bring the terminal down so finally we have completed with the services section i hope you guys are enjoying this project and make sure you save the playlist so whenever i upload new video you guys can easily able to access that and make sure you save the articles and that we i'm going to give all the updates so you guys can follow there as well so with that said now let's move to the next video and that we're going to build the biggest slider now we're going to have a lot of fun because now coming the challenging part of our entire application we have to build the biggest slider so i'll see you there